Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, uh, any thoughts on this question? So the question is, you're given a string, and you can represent it as a binary tree by partitioning into two empty, non-empty substrings. There are different ways to partition it, I assume. And then the idea is that uh, to scramble it, we just choose any two uh, non-leaf nodes and then swap its uh, any non-leaf node and then swap its two children. So that way, if you have this example, then if you swap the G and R, then that essentially becomes the R, G, A. That's it, and then you're good to go. So what do you think? Was that Bhavesh? Go ahead. It's even number. So when there's even number, right, right children will have four, right? Oh. I mean, right tree will, right subtree will have more, one more than the left. Is that correct? I don't or think, it, it's not a, it's, it's just a binary tree. So I don't think it's a, I don't think it's just one possible representation. So you could actually have, I'm assuming you could have like a G on the left and R E A T on the right. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not it's not an evenly split tree. I mean, how how many ways you can swap it? I mean, given a tree, given a string. So you can, so the, so the, the process of scramble is actually given as, given a string, you can convert it to a tree first. And then once you've converted to any tree, it, the tree can be, uh, essentially you can, you can have a tree, like in this great example, you can have a tree that is this way, or it can have a tree which is like, you know, GR and EAT, or you can do G R E and A T and you can do G R E A and a T. You can, these are all the three possibilities. And once you've done this way, this can be like a R E and A T or it can be R and E A T or uh, it can be R E A and a T and so on. So you could, you have to construct one of these trees first and that is not given to you which tree they're constructing. And then what you're doing is that you're actually swapping nodes, the child nodes, in uh, in any number of order, like you have, you can just go ahead and swap multiple times, right? And once you do that, then R G T A E uh, is a possibility because you have actually swapped R and G and uh, uh, A and T. No, you have actually swapped uh, the this with this. And you've also swapped uh, A and T. So we've done three swaps. Is the question clear? Yeah. So it can be any tree. It can be any sort of tree, and uh, and clearly there is like no way you can make this. So if if it let's assume this was A B C D E, then there is no way you can actually swap it to to get this. Like if if you the one way to swap C and A, right? That's what you want, right? The one way to swap C and A would be to essentially have it this way, right? You have to have a tree that breaks it into A B C and this. Only then C and A can be swapped. Actually, you can't swap C and A at all. So, uh, so one one thought is that uh, we have to see where the trees partition at the first children, and then keep doing th that basically same thing with the both child. So, for example, in this case, G R E A T and R G E A T, right? So, uh, so R G T A E. RGTAE, okay. So 
uh, let's take the first saying that it is partisan at first. Now, mm -hmm. if we and so that is not possible because if we see that, uh, so the way to decide whether it is partisan or not is basically see that all the child are covered, you know, in both side, left side. So in this case, mm -hmm. uh, left They're is not. G and R, so not. So take one more basically because you get partisan at one point, right? The moment we get it, that is one possibility. I say. The, the, so here, this is a possibility. It is. It is possible that you could have a, a letter like this, right? So in which yeah, case, yeah. the partition could be this way, or this the partition. This way. Could be yeah, this yeah, way. yeah. But this is one possibility. Yes. Now. Okay. Now you. So let's assume that, this. Yeah. Then keep doing for the same thing. Keep doing for the left and right side separately. And if we can get at the end, then we can say that it is. It Perfect. Is does, that, does that make sense to folks? Yes. Okay. So the the way this the the, the uh, good good idea, uh, Bhavesh. I think it makes makes sense. So essentially, the thing is that you start you first like, you know this is a candidate. You try to see if, uh, if if it's this one. It's not because obviously this G is it's not the same set. Hmm. Oh. Uh, all right. Good. Thank you for muting. So the second was this, the only challenge that you have is that if you have an X here at the same spot, right? Then you do not know whether it is, it's partitioned this way or it's partitioned this way, right? And uh, I think you will probably have to explore both in that case. Yeah. Right, you have to explore this option and this option. And uh, I think it'll actually be, uh, Will, will the answer be the same in that case? Uh, yeah, I was thinking if we take both way, will it change or not? No, it's not. It's not an X, right? What if it was like a like? Let's assume that it was like a ARG and ARG like this, and this was an A, right? So it doesn't mean that it was like you know it's not useless, right? So if it was like this, right? This and this can mean completely different things. Yeah, but before that, we have a question for the first A also in this case. As well, yeah, yeah, of course. No, I, I let me just do this. Something like that, right? Okay, yeah. So th then it becomes the same thing. So basically, we are saying that we have a partition at A G R, and then there is a A. Now, mm -hmm. or we could be partition at A G R A, and then uh, it could be A G R A and eat, or it could be A G R and A E A T. Is it? We don't like know. Can we can we say that we take it any side? It should be okay or no? Uh, no, that I don't think so. I think you'll have to do both. In, so basically, to prove that we have to get to an example where, in one case it be left, one case it will be right. Correct. Because in this case, So essentially what you're saying is that like, you know, uh, this is what you're doing, right? And Something like that is what you're trying to do. Yeah. yeah. Then you have an answer. Right? Yeah. Right. This is this is essentially what you're trying to do. And then you're trying to go through all of it. So essentially you you're trying all the combinations and you're you're getting going. And we actually it's fine, right? Because the thing is that you would uh, uh you would just store it should be fine. You would just store this in um and you'd memoize the values anyway. So I don't think you'll be doing duplicates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I, I would just try both at this point and move on. Like I don't have any intelligence around whether I should be able to do it or not. I can read the discussions to see if folks have actually, you know, had a better, uh, better thought, but, but this looks like a, a reasonable approach to start this question. 
on on line but, number 23 you say left left set s1 equal right set s1 mm -hmm. oh sorry thank you that's what i meant okay this is when the partition exists right like the the example in this case right you can't partition at uh, the great and and uh, this you can't partition at uh, you can't partition at a g right because the left side is just g the left side is just uh, r and they are not equal whereas this is a valid partition because this is rg and that's also like gr if left set of s1 is equal to left set of s2 then it also automatically means that the right set of s1 is equal to right set of s2 because that will be the first thing that you will verify not set but because if there are duplicates then set will ignore them right so it's not it's almost like so, all the elements in the left so we have to do, we have to do right side also right same thing uh, they should match if uh, uh, that like if you you have to do the first thing there is like if elements of one uh, equal to elements of two if they're not then the answer is no oh i see so okay now it makes sense right okay. that's the beginning condition right so That's the first one. I see. Okay. So if left elements are match matching, then the right element should also match because it's just math. All right. So with that, I think we're going to park today's session uh, because uh, I think it's already like a little over. Uh, this question is actually pretty interesting. I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen the previous one and this one. I know we took a little longer to solve the second question. Uh, this question seems a little bit more tractable actually to me. Uh, Please do solve, uh, write the code up, and then post it uh, for others to see. Uh, you can always uh, go through the discussions that is there in the lead code. They actually have people who have actually solved it, provide questions, provide answers, and whatnot. I think the interesting thing for you to do is make sure that you are following, like you know, build that intuition first, and then identify what it is. The the goal here is to understand the problem solving approach, as opposed to solving this one specific problem. So with that, uh, I'll, I'll park here and uh, I'll stop the recording.